Greetings and welcome to the final Christmas 2018 Fake Rant Order video. After we're done with this event, we are jumping into Babylon, and after that, we are jumping into a very spe uh, special uh, event slash story thingamajig. But anyway, I said I'd show you how to farm this final Christmas stocking scenario, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, the first thing we're going to look for is we're going to look for an assassin with the very specific uh, Gene Alter Craft Essence there. And any of these two will work, honestly. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say we go with Ryugi Shiki. Yeah, why not? Now, this is the team I am using. Now, Arash is there in order to completely annihilate the first wave. He dies, and the giant comes in. So you already know that. However, the second wave is a giant... Rider class dragon that even though we have a class advantage against him with, with assassins he still deals quite a significant amount of damage and considering assassins have generally lower hp than the other classes that is not a good thing that is why jack is equipped with kaleidoscope so that i can give her her final 20 percent mp charge and kill the dragon hopefully in one turn with a heroic chain other than that your final two slots can be anyone you want i recommend mash simply because she costs zero and will allow you to bring more stocking drop essences and your final slot can really be anybody you want if we're honest so how is your bond going little lily she's up on level five okay now you do get around nine uh, 850 bond no 915 bond points from this and because she doesn't increase the drop rate of stockings nobody does honestly who are we going to bring along um medusa yeah let's bring along medusa and with that, we are ready to go ahead. So, here we go. Okay, battle one. So, as we've mentioned earlier, Arash is here to make this a no-brainer. Do this. And they never survive Arash's MP, no matter what. So, you don't have to worry about anything after that. And down they go. And in comes Jack. And hopefully we get a Jack Heroic Chain this turn. Come on, look. Excellent, that's exactly what we wanted. And that is going to guarantee us 100% critical strikes on the next turn. And we don't need to use Jack's uh, quick scale up because this will be more than enough to kill it with a Heroic Chain specifically. We need that final fourth attack in order to take him down the last th three or four thousand HP, so it has to be a heroic chain. As you can see, it was just enough to take him down. And there we go. One the card is going to have 90% critical, but that's just how the way it goes. Okay, so the first one you want to take down is Asterios, obviously, because he is a Berserker. Now, on the first turn, Caesar will buff everybody's attack. Asterios will use his own buff, which is Defense and Critical Strike. And Sense Alter will attack. So, let's see, what do we have? We have no Heroic Chain available to us. So, let's try and get it. Come on. No Heroic Chain. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. So, we'll do what we can do. Increase MP Charge. It's insignificant the amount of HP she loses, and we're going to have Skathak do. Should I say that for next turn? Oh well. So, who do we need to charge up? Everybody, unfortunately. So, let's start with Yogi. Uh, then go with Jack, and then go with Skathak. They're not going to kill him, unfortunately, but he won't attack. And because we need him to die, we're going to use Jack's Buffy Racer to do that. And, ooh, that's not too bad, actually. We're going to do this and this and this. And hopefully that'll finish off Ryogi and Jack, leaving only Skathak to need to charge up. Not even close, but oh well. We still have plenty of healing left. We're going to use this. And then Jack will use hers. There we go, and what do we have? No heroic chain, but we need to focus on Skathak, so she's ready to launch hers. Hmm. 
Okay, that actually helped. Excellent, excellent. Really, 6%. Anyway, heal up. Now focus on altar. And this is exactly what we wanted. Have This will finish off everybody. And this will hopefully mean we can kill everybody next turn. I mean, even if we don't kill them this turn, they'll be so weak we'll be able to finish this without any problems. Okay, so Jack quick up, obviously. And then Ryogi will be at the end, so she's going to focus on that one. That's an increased damage for an enemy, yes. And critical strength. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with Skathak. And now we're going to go out to Jack, so Jack's overcharge effect is to, e to even more damage against women, so hopefully she'll kill Santa Altar there. And then Ryugi will hopefully finish off Caesar with a death blow. So that's what we're going to do, and that's what we're going to try. There we go. And excellent, exactly as planned. So there you go. Now, alternatives. If you don't have Skathak, uh, let's see, who can you bring along as an AoE assassin? Um, anyone, honestly. You can even bring Hassan of the 100 percent if you've got her at maximum level. Not Grail, just maximum level. And a replacement for Jack is Rogi Sheik if you don't have anybody else. Uh, you can also consider using Hassan of Serenity. She's a decent choice as well. Let's see, 90. Okay. Let's see, can we get lucky in the lottery and get the, the final things we need? There's a log, two more. Nothing there, and nothing there, unfortunately. And that was fire. That was a little bit of waste, but anyway. So yeah, that is how to farm stockings during these last four days that we have it available. So, get to it. Make sure you pick up at least all the way to box five to get a gene out for Santa Lily. Box six contains a crystallized lore, the grand prize. And from then on, it's just the usual mana prisms, essential materials, and all that other good stuff. So anyway, we will see you next time.